तो चलो वन बाय वन जरा बताओ एम एल सी की जरूरत क्यों थी और क्या एम एल सी से पहला ऐसा कुछ था वॉज देर एनी थिंग बिफोर एम एल सी दैट वॉज सपोर्टिंग योर गाइडलाइंस ऑफ एम एम एल सी मतलब जो एम एल सी बोलता है इससे एम एल सी से पहले ऐसा कुछ था और अगर था तो क्या था चलो हेलो हेलो गाइस आप लोग नीड टू सेंड समथिंग टू समवन मैं सुन रहा हूँ मैं योर शुरू क्लास आप लोग खाली मेरे को ये बताओ कि न्यू स्टूडेंट में से एटलीस्ट एल मी Why was there a need for need for MLC? That is a question. Hmm. Sir, work and rest hours and changes. से ना सर दीपम सर का आवाज आ रहा है तो दरवाजा अगर बंद कर सकते हैं यार डोर तो बंद है लेट मी जस्ट चेक द एक सेकंड लेट मी चेक द सेटिंग या नो स्टू मच नॉइज एक्चुअली इशू इशू से आई हैड बिगिन इज इट मेकिंग एनी डिफरेंस और अभी भी आ रहा है सेम है सर अभी भी आ रहा है आवाज अभी भी आ रहा है अभी ठीक है See, when you talk about MLC, the need for MLC came into existence after the IMO realized that there were some deficiencies. Abhi, because worker register mentioned was that I will just correct it there. Worker register, me guys, STCW already told us that minimum 10 hours of rest in any 24 hours period and. जो भी है 77 आवर्स ऑफ रेस्ट मैंने इन 70 डेज पीरियड दैट्स आई एम नॉट गोइंग इनटू दैट आपके इन शॉर्ट कहने का क्या मतलब है फॉर वेलफेयर फॉर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट फॉर अकोमोडेशन फॉर फूड फॉर रिपैट्रिएशन कुछ भी बोलो सब के लिए आपके रेगुलेशन बट दे वर ओरिजिनली एज पर आई नो ओके ILO individually spoke about this particular uh, uh, 
individually sp uh, spoke about this particular regulation or all these particular requirements but is me regional level pe dikkat ho rahi thi when you talk about issues on regional level regional level pe har country ka ek apna regional requirement hota hai whereby it becomes difficult internationally for other countries to manage ki कितना उसका रेलिवेंस है सो जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट से क्रू सर्टिफिकेशन और लेट से टॉक अबाउट वेजेस रिपाट्रिएशन दीज आर सम की प्रॉब्लम्स वेर इवन इट स्पोक अबाउट क्वालिटी ऑफ सी फेरस कहां से किसका सर्टिफिकेट आ रहा है कौन सा रिकग्नाइज करना है नहीं करना है दैट वॉज अगेन अ बिग क्वेश्चन मार्क सब अपने हिसाब से बोल रहे थे that we do not recognize this or you do not recognize this jo bhi hai so secondly it was creating a issue in quality naturally used to have accidents and incidents with this particular onset jo aapke sath ek indian coc master hai you have a hungarian coc and a panama coc mate and a second mate you are going to have bound to have accidents and management also difficult so with this particular aspect such aspects were there which were not controlling certain measures although stcw spoke about certification but there were no uh, what do you call it, requirements controlling the qualification or the quality of the seafarers at large coming to rpsl companies unke koi check nahi tha moreover a specific convention talking about check on rpsl companies for regulating them this is circulation of blacklist was very common so many such requirements were brought in under a subsidiary of ILO as MLC separate convention for seafarers ILO at large controls everyone matlab aapke ghar pe jo maids aate hain probably in future we don't know when but india may adopt to this where maids also like come under i suddenly you might have to pay them 10000 or 20000 as salary for their enrollment minimum wage standard ke hisab se right now that is not happening sorry to say that is the situation mai aise bas discuss kar raha hu so in that situation when such a gap is there to bridge this gap for sea parents under one roof samajh mein aa raha hai to bridge this gap under one roof they brought in a separate subsidiary to ilo that was known as the maritime labor convention that was adopted in 2006 now with this maritime labor convention 2006 the seafarers have certain fundamental rights and certain social rights you are supposed to be aware of both theek hai sandeep tumhara video off hai even kalpesh your seafarers are supposed to be aware of your fundamental rights and social rights this is by far the most important thing and jahan pe you have new seafarers joining juniors joining aapke known circle mein ho sakte hain they are not aware of it so new students me se batao what are your fundamental rights as a seafarer don't no to refer just wild guesses maro galat hoga chalega अपने दिमाग से डाउट क्लियर हो जाए जो भी है बोलो योर फंडामेंटल राइट्स एज अस डेकोरेशन और फैसिलिटीज रुक जा रुक जा सैनिक रुक जाए ऑलरेडी डन है हां बोलो अदर्स टू गेट अ प्रॉपर ट्रेनिंग बिफोर एम्प्लॉयमेंट ऑन बोर्ड शिप वापस वापस कम अगेन टू टू गेट अ प्रॉपर ट्रेनिंग टू गेट अ प्रॉपर ट्रेनिंग बिफोर एम्प्लॉयमेंट ऑन बोर्ड शिप दैट इज नॉट अ राइट नो दैट इज नॉट अ राइट दैट इज अ विल नो सी फॉर यू टू गो ऑन बोर्ड यू रिक्वायर ट्रेनिंग दैट इज रिक्वायर अंडर द कन्वेंशन दैट इज नॉट योर राइट आई एम आस्किंग योर राइट्स फंडामेंटल राइट्स टू सी फेयर लेट्स से योर ट्रेन सी फेयर मेडिकल मेडिकल बेनिफिट्स मेडिकल इज सोशल uh you raj has written contract that is also social uh, under condition uh, of food and uh, hygienic environment 
social requirement. Wage is also social requirement. Social right, sorry. It's a social right. Whatever you are telling me is a social right for you to go on board as a seafarer. May I say only these three sessions MLC I will do as if to build your knowledge and for ML. Both will do. That is, you need to clear your fundamentals before you go on board a ship. Uh, chalo. Next, Apne Abhi Sabane Jo Bola Sahi Hai, they are all your social rights. Everyone is aware of their social rights. It is a fact. Chalo. Or Bolo, guess Maro Patapa. Random Maro Na Kitani Chiz Hai. Shipping Me Jate Ho. You are signing everything and going every time. Uh, the means of communication to family and home. Recreation, part of recreation only, that is uh, social right. Sir, uh, to get paid for the work. Which is okay, oh, that is wages. No? Wages will be as per your standards set by your, uh, let's say, country, the union, that's, that's your CBA. I'll come to that later. But again, accommodation, safe and uh, hygienic condition, that is again, accommodation, social right. Yeah. Your fundamental rights, system of Bolrao, see, you need to be well, thorough with your, especially when you're a mate. Look, if you're a mate in the studio as part of management, you should know how things impact you as a management level and how you are supposed to exercise things on board as per management. Kalko for example, koi aata hai, aisa, aisa, sir, vaisa, you should know, or for that matter, even you are exercising your orders on board as a mate, you should know are you well within your or well within his fundamental rights. Agar aap uske fundamental rights ke against jaoge, that can go fully against you. Okay, so that is the whole point for management level person to know what is your MLC. So MLC starts with fundamental rights and social rights. You have your four fundamental rights and four social rights. Okay, I'll just share something with you guys one minute. Okay, please have a look at this. <clears throat> You have four fundamental rights and four social rights. First of all, no child labor. How does it impact you as a mate? Please know your crew. Especially if you're riding gang, you join us, trainees, you should know who they are. Okay. Is that clear? So, if you have a new date of birth, you will see verbally what is your actual date of birth. Because if it comes into investigation somewhere, you will land in trouble. Okay? Just for a minute. So, as part of your no child labor, as a mate, you're supposed to be aware that all of them are above the age of 16 or 18 as required by your flag state. I'll come to that later. Okay? Agar 16 to 18 years matter, wo young si hai. His requirements are different. If he's above the age of 18, let's say your flag state says all seafarers on board are supposed to be above 18. Galti se koi 17 and a half over a year. You as a mate should be aware that your jhaj is a person who is 18 and the kind of flag requires minimum age of 18. This is what you should know. That comes as child labor for your vessel. Be very careful. 
ठीक है ऐसा कुछ है रिपोर्ट टू ऑफिस इन गेट इम ऑफ इमीडिएटली डोंट गिव एम एनी ड्यूटीज इवन फॉर द टाइम इज ऑन बोर्ड मतलब होता है ना कि मालूम पड़ा आपको अगला कोर्ट चार दिन बाद है उसको बोल भैया तू कैबिन में बैठ चार चार दिन आप ही अच्छा है ऐश कर और घर चले डोंट कॉल इन फॉर वर्क ठीक है जिस यू शुड बी अवेयर ऑफ ठीक है दैट्स वन सेकेंड नो फोर्स और कंपल्सरी लेबर Every person on board is supposed to exercise his duties for what he is paid. If he is not exercising his duties, not working, show him the relevant CPA that says, "Bhaiya, if you are not working, you have to go home." Simple. You cannot force anybody to work. Bola hai to kam karna padega. That is not how it works. Okay. You have to only exercise your order. Don't make any compulsions to anyone. You make a report and send. and he will be sent home at his cost naturally or discipline action will happen but you cannot force anyone next no discrimination based on color religion and nationality very careful again to be as a mate it can be to the smallest fact ki aapka food se ho sakta hai religious aspect correct it can start with food you as a mate you have to keep a watch on it कि किसी के रिलीजियस सेंटिमेंट्स को अगर वो हर्ट कर रहा है कहीं पे आपने जैसे बीफ रखा है या कोक रखा है हुज रिलीजियस सेंटिमेंट्स इट इज हर्टिंग किसके लिए कहां रखना है या इवन फॉर दैट मैटर ऑफ अ स्पीच इफ यू इफ देयर इज सम बायस्ड स्पीच व्हिच इज इन फेवर ऑफ सम नेशनलिटी एंड अगेंस्ट सम नेशनलिटी ये नहीं होना चाहिए यू हैव टू मेक श्योर एज अ मेट ये अगर कहीं हो रहा है यू हैव टू करेक्ट इट वेल इन एडवांस otherwise it can be put against you also as part of mlc and mind you it is a convention that means it is legally binding yes or no so legally binding mein aapka full contribution ho jata hai is clear and lastly right to organize or collectively bargain ye kiske hisab se what is this for last point fundamental right राइट टू बार्गेन योर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ये एक बहुत बड़ा गेम था विच दंपनीज रियलाइज बाय टू थाउजेंड फोर और टू थाउजेंड टू जब आई एम ओ से बात चली लाइट द प्लान विल बी टू ब्रिंग इन एम एल सी और उसके फंडामेंटल्स में होगा दैट सी फेर हैज राइट टू बार्गे इन हिस्स कॉन्ट्रैक्ट तो ऑल द पीपल रिलेटेड टू शिपिंग दे प्लेड अ वेरी फ्लूएंट गेम उन्होंने क्या किया नंबर ऑफ ट्रेडिंग इंस्टीट्यूट बढ़ा दिए पोस्ट टू थाउजेंड फोर टू थाउजेंड फाइव करेक्ट दिन ऑल योर ट्रेडिंग इंस्टीट्यूट देवर आउट बाई टू थाउजेंड सिक्स टू थाउजेंड सेवन आई थिंक जितने एक्स्ट्रा ट्रेनिंग इंस्टीट्यूट थे उसके बाद पब्लिक भरा वन ईयर हो गया थ्री ईयर हो गया सारे कोर्सेज चालू कर दिए इवन वो थर्टी सिक्स मंथ वाले को कन्वर्जन दे रहे थे टू सी ओ सी एवरीथिंग वन दिस स्टार्टेड एवरीथिंग आपका मार्केट फ्लड कर दिया उन्होंने मार्केट फ्लड कर दिया तो क्या हो गया आप कर लो अपना राइट एक्सरसाइज वेन यू से दैट आई वॉन्ट टू बार्गेन और कौन राइट बोले तो दूसरी कंपनी में बात करो हम तो नहीं कर सकते बिकॉज सप्लाई डिमांड के साथ उन्होंने छेड़छाड़ की Yes or no? So it was done intentionally to break this. Otherwise, as a seafarer, you can buy a contract for the work you do. This is the problem. Our problem is that the brand new second mate is also four thousand five hundred dollars, and the one who is five years old is also four thousand five hundred dollars. The seniority wages are paid. The name is forty dollars. That is not counted as an income. Correct, no? so this is where the problem lies where market has been controlled again you as a seafarer are very much in your duty to bargain your contract chalo abhi wages aur duration ko chhod ke liye duration to nahi kar sakte ki contract chhota do koi dega nahi chhota contract because repatriation cost will go up for the company wages koi dega nahi aur kuch hai kya that you can bargain in your contract Anything else that we can bargain? 
in your interest of course yeah uh, sir insurance and uh, medical insurance. insurance so basically as part of your own insurance and insurance for family you can ask them for a increased amount because with the rising uh, medical cost aapka insurance jo aapke official period on board and official leave period ke liye valid hota hai so ask for an increased amount bolo mera parents are old i need my parents also to be covered you can bargain that no to include your parents in that you can look for a company that provides better insurance to your family you can look for a company that gives you a flexible repatriation window pata nahi plus minus 1 month pe utar denge to wo usko dekho ki if it is minus 1 month jo tumhare benefit mein hai plus 1 month nahi karenge wo minus 1 month mein utar denge correct no so these are some of the terms that you can benefit for your advantage theek hai that is known as again bargaining the contract clear so that you are always that is why our job is contractual ab dusre company mein jaake you can always apply there is nothing known as employment in merchant navy employment employment hota hai jahan pe aapko fixed salary aate hai to matlab aisa ho aap aise karke baithe rahoge fir bhi salary aani chahiye yes or no that is an agreemental salary but contractual you can always ask for better opportunity so aapki company aaju baaju mein agar kahi better opportunity hai you should switch frankly speaking promotion ho ya benefits so everything is not accounted on money guys please understand go for something that is suited for your working condition sukoon hona chahiye 200 dollar kam milega chalega but that accounts for your benefits with insurance and other covers that the company will provide okay of course any other preparation support so all that comes in bargaining the contract other than that for social rights everyone is aware of their social rights including decent work and living conditions safe and secure living conditions conditions of employment will have a standard form of agreement aapka jo agreement hota hai usme name of the ship rank duration ye sab ka same hi hota hai standard form this is the fact that aapka koi ek itf company ho sakta hai ya non itf company ho sakta hai correct jo log itf companies mein gaye hain aapka most likely the contract will be of single page yes or no it's just one page where you have two signatures at the bottom one is the crewing manager and one is yours jahan pe aap ek tick mark karte ho sign karte ho that's that's the end of it the tick mark corresponds to acceptance of the cd collective bargaining agreement i'll come to that later okay and other than that for a non itf company aapka four or five pages ka contract ho sakta hai kisi ka that anybody signed four to five pages contract फ्लीट में ना सर हमेशा फोर टू फाइव पेजेस रहता है वेदर को आईटीएफ और नॉन आईटीएफ सो व्हाट दे डू इज बेसिकली यू हैव ओनर्स एग्रीमेंट्स दे मेक यू साइन द ओनर्स एग्रीमेंट तो आपको फिर वो चार पांच पेजेस साइन करने पड़ेंगे दैट इज योर बेसिकली ओनर्स एग्रीमेंट एंड देयर टर्म्स एंड कंडीशंस सो दोस टर्म्स एंड कंडीशंस आर ओनली बिटवीन यू एंड द सीफेरर और यू एंड द कंपनी सॉरी यू एंड द ओनर सो दैट आर वेरी स्पेसिफाइड एग्रीमेंट्स they do not have union incorporated in that most likely you might not have to pay union fees for those contracts so that is because the union will not support you better you you can go for these contracts until they are of course comfortable but will advise you again that you go for itf controlled union wale contracts because in case of any ifs and buts union aapko support karta hai to repatriate or whatever they will take charge from indian government side to so support is much better if you are linked to a union for all these employments ab dekho sab tak jab tak sab kuch acha chal raha hai bina helmet ke bhi motorcycle chala sakte ho kuch nahi hoga kisi ko that is the whole point the problem comes under the 
under the duress of piracy, let's say, or under any special circumstances, जब आपको support चाहिए, repatriation चाहिए, wages चाहिए on time, then everything will come out. कितने चक्कर काटोगे, कितने lawyer पकड़ोगे, yes or no? Your family members, it's better they have one window to communicate rather than running to a lawyer, taking the lawyer, court जाओ, ये करो, वो करो. उसका इंश्योरेंस किसके थ्रू है सैलरी रिलीज कराओ केस डालो तब तक तो तुम जांच पे हो अंडरस्टैंड और स्पेशल सर्कमस्टेंस सो दिस दिस इज समथिंग दैट यू नीड टू लुक फॉर वेर इफ यू हैव अ यूनियन सपोर्टिंग इट इज ओनली फॉर अगेन वर्स केस सिनेरियोस ठीक है बोलो कल्पेश Regarding this union base, but, uh, I think this union base companies only the Indian companies. Uh, like other companies, they don't have this union. You know. सब का ही होता है ना. ITF based में तो आपका MUI card होता है ना. ITF companies में when you have when you are signing a CBA, देखो. Indian based companies में you have an article of agreement with the government, and you will be obviously linked to the union because it is part of the government's agreement. But As part of foreign companies, your foreign company owners will make a collective bargaining agreement with a union of India or that particular MUI or MUC. They will prepare a CBA where it will be an agreement binding the owner and the MUI to make some terms and conditions and agree upon. जैसे आपका appendix for salary. Repatriation clauses, so be it. Everything. It will be there in that CBA. A seafarer will accept these terms and conditions and board such vessel, which have been controlled under the CBA by the MUI. So, a foreign company vessel is there, which means MUI is your link to that. In these vessels, the rights can be exercised by the seafarer, but any violation of any such rights, union will support. That is the whole point. Point is only that the union under the ITS also are authorized to board the vessel for inspection. आप लोग को अगर वो ever green ever given का case याद होगा, the ITS had boarded that vessel once that vessel was brought to safety to make sure that the crew were being given all the treatment. It was there in the news. The ITU specifically boarded the vessel to make sure that the crew are safe and they have been given all their basic necessities, and that the seafarer is not considered as an abandoned seafarer. That is a word that comes under MLC. Abandoned seafarer is any seafarer which has basically basic necessities like food, water, which has not been given, salary has not been given, fuel for AC and your basic. Electricity, everything should be supplied on board. A violation of this is a violation of MLC, and you will be considered as an abandoned seafarer in such case. Evergreen, ever given me, ITF gaya thay cross check karne ke liye. So this keeps the owner binding to exercise all these rights. Samajh na rahe. So that is why having a union with you is a Safer bet in special circumstances. I don't know if everyone is aware. Uh, Yar Giriraj Binay and Sandeep Apajo, the videos are off for long. Giriraj and Binay. So I don't know if you're aware. आप लोग का जो let's say for example if there is a abandoned ship situation and actual, really actual में and let's say you abandon the vessel. आपको भी पता है मुझे भी पता है. There will be at least three to four people जो अपने कैबिन में भागेगा मेरा नया लैपटॉप लास्ट कोर्ट में लिया था मेरा नया फोन लिया था या मेरा पासपोर्ट किधर है मेरे को चाहिए हंड्रेड परसेंट यू हैव दीज पीपल करेक्ट यू शुड नो दैट और दे शुड बी वेल ब्रीफ ऑन बोर्ड अगेन एज पर एम एल सी दैट इट इज देयर इन देर सी पी ए की इन केस ऑफ एनी लॉस और फाउंडरिंग और एनी सच सिचुएशन Your crew effects are covered up to a sum of three thousand US dollars. So, मतलब owner is responsible for that. अगर आप abandon करते हो, they are supposed to give you this amount. And in the 
ऑफ कोर्स इन एनी इवेंचुअलिटी ऑफ लॉस ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट उसका कुछ नहीं कर सकते और यू विल बी गिवन अ पर्टिकुलर क्या बोलते हैं डिपोर्टिंग डॉक्यूमेंट दैट यू विल बी डिपोर्टेड बैक टू द कंट्री फ्रॉम द कंट्री ऑफ रेस्क्यू जो भी उसमें वो टेम्परी पासपोर्ट सब मिलता है वेर यू कैन एक्चुअली हेड बैक एंड अप्लाई फॉर योर डॉक्यूमेंट विद दैट डॉक्यूमेंट की मेरा रेस्क्यू हुआ था वॉज अ सर्वाइवर है ना सो पॉइंट बींग अगेन पीपल आर नॉट अवेयर ऑफ एम एल सी इन दीज लाइन्स ऑल्सो आपका नोइंग द फैक्ट दैट एम एल सी की वजह से सी बी आई विल कवर दीज कॉस्ट सो आई एम जस्ट सर्कलिंग अबाउट द फैक्ट वाई यूर सपोज टू नो योर एम एल सी क्लियर है सो वेन एवर यू गेट एन क्वेश्चन ऑन एम एल सी यू विल गेट क्वेश्चन ऑन फूड एंड केटरिंग और अकोमोडेशन और एनी सच कंडीशन ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट कोई भी आपका क्वेश्चन आता है प्लीज मेक श्योर आपका जैसे मैंने बोला था लास्ट टाइम भी इंट्रोडक्शन टू कन्वेंशन पूरा होना चाहिए नो मैटर वॉट क्वेश्चन यू गेट एन एम एल सी ठीक है आफ्टर दैट यू हैव ऑल द रेगुलेशन डिवाइडेड इन टू वेरियस टाइटल्स तो वो आपके अलग अलग टाइटल्स के डिटेल्स आपको लिखने पड़ेंगे ओनली आफ्टर दैट इंट्रोडक्शन सो दैट इंट्रोडक्शन विल रिमेन फिक्स फॉर ऑल योर आंसर्स ठीक है चलो लेट स्टार्ट राइटिंग ऑल ऑफ यू वील राइट डाउन मारे टाइम लेबर कन्वेंशन टू थाउजेंड सिक्स the year of 2006 is the year of adoption so aapko likhna padega aage please write down the title is maritime labor convention 2006 uske niche likho the mnc that is maritime labor convention that is maritime labor convention is is an international labor, labor organization is an international labor organization convention that was adopted in February 2006 that was adopted in February 2006 and in force from 20th August 2013 2000 adopted in 2000 February 2006 and in force from 20th August 2013 as the fourth pillar of as the fourth pillar of IMO as the fourth pillar of IMO comma and it includes three in force from 20th august to 2013 ke baad ek baar mention 20th august 2013 and as fourth pillar of the imo comma kya bola maine and it includes it includes and it includes all up to date standards all up to date standards of the existing existing mlc conventions and 
recommendations and recommendations as well as the fundamental principles as well as the fundamental principles of other pillars of iim full stop next line the convention applies to all ships so we can bola sa fundamental principle of other of other pillars of iim next line me likho the convention applies to all ships entering the harbor states entering the harbor states harbor states that are party to the convention that are party to the convention comma including all the flag states including all the flag states next point or next line sorry the convention comprises of the convention comprises of ash kar ke likho the articles comma regulations and the code articles comma regulations and the code full stop the articles and regulations set out the core set out the core rights and principles set out the core rights and principles and the basic obligation and the basic obligations of the members full stop the code contains the code contains the details for implementation of the regulations the code contains the details for implementation of the regulations comma it comprises of part a mandatory standards implementation of implementation of the regulation comma it comprises of part a mandatory standards and part b recommendatory guidelines recommendatory guidelines full stop stop the regulations and the code the regulations and the code are organized into five titles as the structure of mlc organized into organized into five titles as the structure of mlc please write down these five titles 
टाइटल वन मिनिमम रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर सी फेर टू वर्क ऑन शिफ्ट उसके नीचे टाइटल टू कंडीशन ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट टाइटल थ्री अकोमोडेशन रिक्रिएशन फैसिलिटीज फूड एंड केटरिंग टाइटल फोर हेल्थ प्रोटेक्शन मेडिकल केयर वेलफेयर एंड सोशल सिक्योरिटी प्रोटेक्शन टाइटल फाइव कंप्लायस एंड एनफोर्समेंट आपको दिखेगा डोंट इवन थिंक मैं सच बता रहा हूँ डोंट इवन थिंक क्या सोचू क्या लिखू Just put down that particular question number and start writing your introduction. That does not change, no matter what is an MLC question. Okay? MLC convention kya hai? You have to define. Okay? कोई भी MLC question होने दो, कुछ भी. हाँ. Sir, कभी कभी Sir कभी कभी ना there are two questions asked. एक question में part A और B दोनों में MLC आता तो दोनों में introduction लिखेंगे sir. नहीं 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 part A नहीं. It is part of the same question, no? तो जब आप A लिख part A लिखोगे तो write introduction आपका वो डेढ़ दो पेज हो जाएगा then part B में as described above on the introduction of the convention उसके आगे उसके next part लिखो that does not make sense to write the introduction twice ठीक है उसका short introduction लिख सकते हो that as per the code of the MLC और the structure of the MLC पार्ट बी कौन से टाइटल में आता है उसका रेगुलेशन वो लिख सकते हो वहां से फ्रॉम द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एम एनसी ऑफ फाइव टाइटल्स आपका टाइटल थ्री में आता है दैट यू कैन कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम देर उसके बाद इट इज द सेम क्वेश्चन तो बेसिकली आपका जो टोटल आंसर का लेंथ इज एटली टेकन फॉर दैट वन क्वेश्चन नंबर नॉट नॉट एम बी ठीक है So now after this, ये आपके five titles हैं जिसके अंदर various layers of regulations आते हैं that comprise of the entire requirements. So let's say when we talk about minimum requirements for seafarers, you have regulations for minimum age, medicals, training, RPSL. These are all the regulations under this particular title one. तो आपका कई बार रेगुलेशन नंबर से भी क्वेश्चन आ सकता है 
or they might ask as for the title of the regulation. They say under Title One, Regulation One Point One stands for minimum age. So, you can ask yourself, how does the minimum age implicate the seafarer zone? Or you can ask, as per Regulation One Point One, what are the requirements for a vessel? आ सकता है वेरी मच आ सकता है बिकॉज इट इज रेकग्नाइज एंड आइडेंटिफाइड लाइक दैट जैसे आपका अगर मैं बोलू लुकआउट यू नो इट इज रूल फाइव करेक्ट अगर मैं पूछू रूल फाइव तो भी आपको मालूम है इट इज लुकआउट समथिंग लाइक दैट बिकॉज अंडर कॉल रेक्स कन्वेंशन इट आइडेंटिफाइज योर रेगुलेशन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ रूल्स ये सब नो तो दैट इज ऑल्सो अ रेगुलेशन तो आइर वो रूल फाइव भी बोल सकता है क्वेश्चन में या लुकआउट भी बोल सकता है समथिंग लाइक दैट So similarly, यहाँ पे आपके questions में regulation number आ सकता है नहीं तो नाम आ सकता है। So when we are writing these particular now titles, we will write down the regulation number and the name. तो आपको एक fair idea होना चाहिए, ठीक है? There is a chance. I am not saying वो वैसे ही आता है। There is a hundred percent chance, or I wouldn't say that way, but possibility hundred percent है। आएगा नहीं आएगा तो ऐसे different story. All conventions are defined in similar manner. Yes. Okay. Let's go to Title One. That is your minimum requirements for a seafarer to work on a ship. Let's write down. First one, Regulation One Point One, Minimum Age. Please write down the points. No person below the Minimum age of 16. No person below the minimum age of 16 minimum age of 16 shall be employed or engaged shall be employed or engaged To work on a ship. To work on a ship. Next point. Night work for seafarers under the age of 18. Night work for seafarers under the age of 18 shall be prohibited. Is it 1.2 or just next point? No, no, it's under regulation 1.1 only, same. Minimum age. Next point. Seafarer from the age of 16 to 18. Seafarer from the age of 16 to 18. Shall be called as a young seafarer. Shall be called as or shall be known as a young seafarer. Next point. The engagement or work of a seafarer. Under the age of 18, the engagement or work of a seafarer under the age of 18 shall be prohibited for shall be prohibited for comma, any work that is likely to jeopardize any work that is likely to jeopardize their health or safety. Health or safety, comma, such as 
enclosed space entry, comma, working aloft, comma, working oversight. This is where I said mates have to be careful. Correct? देखो काम हो गया तो रात गई बात गई बट गलती से वो गिर गया और आपने अगर मेडिकल केस रिपोर्ट किया और वहां पे बाहर आया कि ही वाज बिलो द एज ऑफ 18 फॉर अ अलॉफ्ट जॉब और अ एनक्लोज जॉब दैट विल बी डीप ट्रबल फॉर द मेट ठीक है सो हैव दैट एक बहुत जनरल कर्टेसी होती है Have a habit of asking your crew ka age, especially the young staff. Jiska dadi mooch hai, not required naturally. But the young boys who are coming have that basic questionnaire. Naam kya hai, age kya hai, ya date of birth kya hai. Original hai na tere date of birth ya jo bhi basic. And have that idea that he is above 18 when he is doing the work. ठीक है? Okay. नेक्स्ट अच्छा इसमें एक और पॉइंट जो सॉरी नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट लाइन में कंपलसरी रेस्ट कंपलसरी रेस्ट एंड नो वर्क बिटवीन 12 एम एंड 5 एम comma with 9 hours of sleep with 9 hours of sleep for a seafarer under the age of 18 for a seafarer under the age of 18 so basically in short is the boss <laughs> तो बी केयरफुल हां कल कैसे बोलूं सर दिस पॉइंट द रिगार्डिंग नो वर्क फ्रॉम 12 टू 5 एएम और द नाइट टाइम बट लेट्स से लाइक आई हैव सीन अ कपल ऑफ टाइम मेनी ऑफ द मेट्स दे डू स्पेशली थिंग व्हेन द वेसल इज एट एंकर एंड व्हेन वी हैव दिस लुकआउट मैच सम ऑफ द मेट दे आर आस्किंग फॉर अ जॉब इन दोस आवर्स बट For whom? Young seafarers under the age of eighteen. No, no, not young. Uh, above eighteen. Above eighteen. That is normal. In uh, above eighteen, then this is not like contrary with the MNC. No way. Working hours of the ship has to be only defined in terms of rest hours and work hours. That does not justify for any work that cannot be carried out. You cannot force work. If the person is scared, there can be a stand standby. But just by the idea of the rat to come, not to do, there is no such requirement. Not at all. Yes, I am telling you again. Young seafarer is from 16 to 18. You cannot. Training comes. Training, training command. Training OS. Please check their age, especially trainees only. Please check their age. If they are under 18, make sure they are in their cabin and sleeping. Trainees. Other than this, your riding gang also comes. Your painting one, riding gang, who Thai and uh, Vietnamese and all these Indo guys. They are coming, so please be careful of them if their age is below 18. But if Kalpesh is asking in terms of ship staff above 18. No such requirement. If it is complying with the rest hours, there is no restriction. Okay. Next, please write down. Ah. Sir. Uh, sir, uh, what about stevedores? Sir, do we have to make sure they are also above eighteen? That is as per your dock worker regulation. That inspector, you can uh, always have that uh, local regulation to check. If they are allowed to work, so normally that is your uh, that inspector or that safety inspector from shore. It's his responsibility to authorize their work permit. 
So most likely the foreman has the work permit for everyone. You can allow that. That has got nothing to do with again with you. That has got with the foreman actually. But always you can check with foreman if they have permit. That you can do as a mate only. उनको किसी का शकल देख के डाउट आता है नॉर्मली दिस फ्यू ऑफ द फार ईस्ट गाइस वो शकल से लगता है अठारह पंद्रह का है होता है बीस का सो दैट आल्सो मैटर्स चाइनीज और कोरियंस फ्यू ऑफ द एज एंड दिस सजेस्टिंग उनका शकल पे नहीं दिखता है सो यू कैन ऑलवेज आस्क फॉर वर्क परमिट इफ दे बीन इशूड ऑफिशियल वर्क परमिट उसका फोटो ले लो तुम्हें चाहिए तो दैट इज दैट दैट्स देयर हेड एक टू मैनेज who had issued and all that stay with us hamara head ekni ha but ye zaruri yaad rakhna if if you find such young person who is has a permit but doing all sorts of unsafe practices in your vision of course it is your full right to inform the stevedore and make sure he is off your vessel make sure there are no injuries so that is your right you make sure he steps on board I I don't want this man to to be working on on board, ask him to wait, wait on the jet tube. That you can. Unsafe practice. Please write down next regulation 1.2 medical certificate. Medical certificate. Please write down. Seafarers shall not work on a ship. Seafarers shall not work on a ship. Unless they are certified as medically fit. Unless they are certified as medically fit to perform their duties. Come on. the medic uh the medical certificate shall be issued by medical certificate shall be issued by a duly qualified medical practitioner a duly qualified medical practitioner who is recognized by the competent authority who is recognized by the competent authority how will you know looking at any doctor he is say medical kara sakte hain for medical fit certificate like for a dg approved ah uh, approved by dg approved by dg shipping jiske niche likha hota hai you can always go there and get your medical certificate for joining Okay. In uh, just this one thing <coughs> for medical certificate, कई बार आप लोग को medicals जब जाते हो आप लोग वो I don't know in some of the medicals they ask you to sign a blank form. इस पे print out लेना है करके. इसको sign कर दो. They will give you a set of ten fifteen pages. बोलेगा इसको ये सब blank पे जिस पे जहाँ पे cross मारा है वहाँ sign मारो. And then we'll print your certificates. Don't do that. ठीक है. उसको बोलो मेरे पास बहुत time है. जिंदगी में बहुत टाइम है मैं छुट्टी पे हूँ जहाज पे नहीं छुट्टी पे हूँ मेरे पास दुनिया का टाइम है आई वेट फॉर यू यू प्रिंट द सर्टिफिकेट एंड तो बोलेगा आपको ऑफिस भेजना पड़ेगा तो बोलो मैं इधर बगल में रहता हूँ तो चलेगा मेरे को डिले सी पॉइंट बींग वाई बिकॉज इफ यू साइन अंक सर्टिफिकेट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इट मे नॉट अफेक्ट यू टूडे बट लेट्स इफ यू साइन अंक सर्टिफिकेट टूडे एंड फॉर सम ऑल रीजन द कंपनी डजन वॉन्ट टू सेंड यू ऑनरशिप एनी रीजन डिसिप्लिन है जो भी है एक्स वाइज वो क्या करेगा आपने क्योंकि साइन कर दिया है डॉक्टर कैन प्रिंट सम अनफिट सर्टिफिकेट इन योर नेम एंड साइन इट एंड यू हैव ऑलरेडी साइन इट एंड एक्सेप्टेड इट सिंस इज डी जी अप्रूव बाई दी कॉम्पिटेंट अथॉरिटी दैट बिकम्स फाइंडिंग फॉर दैट सर्टिफिकेट दैट इज नॉट फिट एंड यू हैव एक्सेप्टेड दैट ठीक है सो वो तो तुम कहीं भी जाके कंप्लेंट करो सबसे पहले वो तुमको ही बोलेगा तुम बेवकूफ हो थिंक अबाउट इट जस्ट थिंक अबाउट इट इफ यू गो एंड कंप्लेन टू एनी वन 
देवेन से ऐसा थोड़ी होता है हम हमेशा साइन करते हैं जब सामने कोई चीज होती है ऐसे ब्लैंक पेज नो बड़ी साइंस ये आप लोग को बचपन से मालूम है सो दीज थिंग्स कैन कम अगेंस्ट यू एट एनी पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम सो अवॉइड साइन दीज ब्लैंक पेपर्स बट साइन ओनली द प्रिंटेड फॉर्म्स दैट हैव बीन फिल्ड बाय द डॉक्टर नेचुरली ब्लैंक फॉर्म्स पे मत साइन करो फॉर सेक ऑफ देखो आप व्हाट एवर यू आर डूइंग इज फॉर द सेक ऑफ कन्वीनियंस कि वापस नहीं आना पड़ेगा बाय द टाइम आई गो होम वो शाम तक जो रिपोर्ट बनेगा इट विल गो टू द ऑफिस डायरेक्टली दैट इज व्हाई यू साइन अ ब्लैंक फॉर्म ठीक है सो व्हेन एवर यू आर देयर रिक्वेस्ट फॉर साइनिंग आफ्टर द मेडिकल्स अब अगेन दैट इज इन योर पर्सनल सिचुएशन अभी किसी को जाना है फ्लाइट है आई डोंट नो आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग दोस लाइंस बट जिसका पॉसिबल है ट्राई टू गेट योर मेडिकल in front of you or sign it after the medicals okay see okay. that next a medical certificate shall be valid for a medical certificate shall be valid for a maximum period of 2 years valid for a period of 2 years comma and for a seafarer under the age of 18 and for a seafarer under the age of 18 comma The validity of the certificate shall be one year. Validity of the certificate shall be one year. Next line. Certificate for color vision test. Certificate for color vision test shall be valid for a period of six years. Valid for six years. Next point. If a medical certificate expires during the voyage, if a medical certificate expires during the voyage, come on. then the certificate shall continue to be in force then the certificate shall continue to be in force until the next port of call until the next port of call where the seafarer can obtain a new certificate and the seafarer can obtain a new certificate comma this period shall not exceed 3 months this period shall not exceed 3 months Although your certificate is valid for two years, still company prefers to carry out medical a prior every joint. Correct. This the simple reason is that medical, when any company has a tie up with any, they uh, say doctor, that medical report will cost for a bulk grade. Medical report will cost him two thousand or max three thousand rupees. Remember. उससे फायदा क्या होता है एक तो एवरी टाइम एन यू सीफर इज गोइंग ऑन बोर्ड मेडिकल सर्टिफिकेट इज वैलिड दूसरा प्रायर एवरी ज्वाइनिंग द कंपनी विल गेट टू नो दैट यू आर फिट फॉर ज्वाइनिंग फॉर दैट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट बिकॉज इन एनी केस ऑफ मेडिकल सिचुएशन और मेडिकल कंडीशन फॉर एनीथिंग इट इज वेरी एक्सपेंसिव फॉर द कंपनी टू सेंड यू फॉर अ मेडिकल चेकअप इन एनी अदर कंट्री 
एंड वहां से टू गेट एडमिटेड रिपेट्रिएटेड ऑल दो थिंग्स आर वेरी एक्सपेंसिव फॉर द कंपनी तो उससे अच्छा कंपनी ऑलवेज फील्स बेटर यू स्पेंड थ्री थाउजेंड ऑन एवरी सी फेयर फॉर अ मेडिकल चेकअप दैट इज द कैलकुलेशन ठीक है सो इन इवेंचुअलिटी ऑफ एनी सर्टिफिकेट दैट एक्सपायर्स यू कैन स्टिल सेल बट एट लीस्ट इन योर कंट्री दैट विल नॉट है ठीक है चलो विल कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम दिस नेक्स्ट क्लास विल डायरेक्टली स्टार्ट राइटिंग 